guys, Roy here, and well, this is some sort of a test for how I'm supposed to record Let's Plays, kind of a little practice session, and I thought we need to like try out L.A. Noir's new DLC Slip of the Tongue, because I haven't tried it, so it's going to be blind, and this is Mephistopheles in the background, people who have actually played Demon Souls will remember her. A little secret quest, a little killing. Mm, she was pretty cool. Oh. Oh. For some reason, I really don't like this piece of art. I don't know. It's not my thing. But anyway, let's jump into it. I'm trying out some new sets of recording because. With the other, like, HD thing, I can record for 30 minutes, and with this I can record for 2 hours, which is a lot more, without, like, having to cut stuff out and do other things. But, I'm not really sure if the quality is going to take a hit or anything, but, yeah, it's, it's a test I can, I can manage. So, ah, oh god. This is what I hate about modern games. The freaking start. In the old days, you just mashed start and you'd be able to like play in five freaking seconds. With no, you have to watch like watch your website and go to thingy. Yeah, that might be. I do like the startup screen though. It's really. I never understood why it's noir instead of just noir. Where does the e come from? Does anybody know? I don't know. Doom, doom cases. Wasn't it Vice? Oh no, it was Naked City. Gonna have to replay that one as well. I want five stars on this one. I don't care what anybody says. I don't. It's not even a trophy, and I'm the biggest trophy whore there is. So that means I like the game a lot if I'm doing stuff. With it. It's not even required for a trophy. Traffic? Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is gonna have to go five stars as well. That's not gonna happen. Not the first time, but oh, we'll see. I don't like the white shoes lane. Spoiler alert, I don't like the entire homicide part. Well, I like it gameplay-wise, but not the ending. It's like, yeah, Guess what? Everything you did was for shits. Yeah, okay. Sounds chill. Nice. Oh, okay. Hmm. Makes some sense. Loading. Random picture of a train. Boost the sound a bit. Bukowski! No, Bukowski. Peacock says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on! Sorry to inconvenience. <laughs> yeah, you. Run it, Captain. Yeah, I'm sorry we were so busy tracking down lost cars that we. I swear, oh. the more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. He pays the rent, though. He keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Mrs. Phelps. Passionate Phelps. romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe you. Yeah. I wonder if he's aware of the coming of Mrs. Phelps the second. First off, I hate this outfit. Hackshaw! For some reason, this guy reminds me of someone doing taxes. Like, bring in the tax man. Just this guy knocking on your ring. Yeah, you haven't paid your taxes, boy. It's gonna kick your ass. Oops. Ah! We tried to get there in one piece. Goddamn drunk drivers. What did you say to me? No. no. You're not getting out that easy. I'm sorry, sir. Police officer. So I paid the city all these goddamn taxes, and you need to take my car? 
you don't pay taxes. This car is absolutely terrible. Vroom, doop, doop, doop. They're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake thinks of that. You hear whether they're making any progress? Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Why are... Terrible enough for uh... Alright, why the hell are they talking about that case? That was actually quite an important piece of story element, and why they put it in the DLC? It's just stupid. They did it with the Naked City as well. They had like a show off of, um. They had Bukowski in it, him making Homicide, together with Finbar, and then it shows him next to it. Okay, yeah. I He's in Homicide now, but if you don't have the DLC, you have no idea what he's doing there. You're like, you're in Homicide now? Okay. This would be the... It's like they just had these cases in the game and just ripped them out and sold them separately, which is probably what they did. Now, I don't want to hit anything because I'm a tier whore and I want five stars, damn it. But I want to drive myself because it's fun. Yay. Hello, hot dog man. Wait, isn't that Bukowski? He looks exactly the same as Bukowski. Get out of the car, Bukowski. He looks nothing like Bukowski. Yes. Stepping into a car, a challenge on its own. I'm gonna kill someone I know. A bicycle? Damn it. Oh boy. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. A car theft was reported. Oh, uh, never mind. I'm going to get drunk. In pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Ah. Ah. Nice dent in the wall. We don't need that siren. He looks back in the mirror and he says, Oh. I am screwed. But that sound motivates me to fight on. Play into his wheel arches. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy the car that was being stolen. <clears throat> so, yeah, lady, um, we got your car back, but <clears throat> it's uh, kind of in a mess. We did some things to it that we will never do to our own car. Maybe that was a couple miles over the speed limit. <laughs> Get bracelets on themselves. I'll call it. I want to shoot him. Seriously, this car is totaled. And a trophy! I see them. That was unexpected. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rear view mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? With sirens. Okay. With Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Let's try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Mm. What Harris? Looks like we'll have some questions for the people with whom it's all loaded. Gee, I wonder where the story's going. It's kind of like the car in... Ooh. The car in heavy rain. Uh, good boy, you purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Huh. All right. And the ownership papers? I'm from the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Yeah, I don't know any joke about that. I can make a Photoshop joke, but it's kind of awkward. Flight criminal record. Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You better give us something. We're gonna make this harder. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... Because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. 
Wacky backy. Oh my god. Like a drawing. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Hmm. Not sure. He made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. Okay. We're going to get Oh, you. who's the beast? Until we do, you're going down. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions of evidence and have him arranged for grand theft auto. Right, oh, I see what you did, Dar. Actually, that's just a normal term. Driving, driving. We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. For what? I think he's telling the truth. No! Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are foreign liars. Usually they're called politicians. Point taken. You know what I miss? Changing the radio Maybe channel. They all looked above board, and he seemed like a clean-cut kid. Uh huh. Well, I get it. Man. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago, and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from them. Unless his daddy plays golf and yours are close. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See? I knew you weren't finished. Hmm. Now, what I want to talk about was the radio. Why is it... Why can't you change it? Can you change it? No, it's D5. So that brings up the thingy. Huh. There's actually there's a fun radio show you can listen to. It. Kind of like, um, what was that guy's name on GTA 4? Judge, Judge Drudy, Judge Dredd, Judge... I have no idea what his name was. I guy can go up here. Whoa! He was really fun with Just or Unjust, where people had like thrown themselves into lion cages as a in the name of court. It was really fun. I always imagine him like this big black guy like screaming down everybody's neck. Like, just or unjust. It was really fun. That was actually one of the few things about GTA 4 I actually like. Same with the men's room and that Halo thing on TV. They actually put a lot of time and effort into that. Shim didn't do it into like jokes and gameplay. Oh, that must have been Nico Bellic was a really cool guy. Actually one of the few characters I actually care about in a video game. Because I do not care one bit for Cole Phelps. He's like this. I guess I know what they were going for with the whole like failed hero. And this guy who actually you're going nuts. Alright, I'm gonna have to see this. This is always fun. Ah! Good. He's getting his exam results today. He's going nuts with nerves. So much fun. But yeah, Cole Phelps is like this act. He's not a really a hero. He's, he's kind of that guy that does nothing but gets everything thrown in his lap. Especially with the war. I'm not a big fan of Jeff Kell, so I, I think that's a noir thing. Like, they're all okay guys, but they all have flaws. It, it brings character, but I don't love them. It's not like they're, well, they're not Link or Samus. They have that nostalgia vision attached to them, and they're not, well, the thing about a character I actually really like. They're not Bjor. 